Good Saturday morning. I'm meteorologist Paul Godot. I'm live in Brooklyn, New York, the site of this weekend's Formula E race. Yes, they're race cars, but they run on battery. We're going to talk about how the, the future, the technology we'll be using here on the streets of Brooklyn can improve the electric vehicle that could be in your future driveway or garage. That's coming up this morning on Weekend Recharge. And heat's also going to race across the country this week as temperatures drive up to triple digits for some who will be sweating it out this weekend with possible record breakers. And the relentless heat already leading to the death of 10 children in hot cars so far this year in the U.S. Later on, safety tips parents can use to prevent more hot car deaths. And severe storms are on the move and headed toward the Central Plains and the Mid-Atlantic. We're timing today's threat straight ahead. Good Saturday morning and welcome to Brooklyn, New York, home of the only U.S. stop for Formula E race. It's a worldwide race with electric formula race cars. We'll talk about how the technology developed here on the track can go into cars in your driveway and how the weather could be impacting this weekend's races. And heat will also race across the country this week as temperatures drive up to triple digits for some who will be sweating it out this weekend with possible record breakers. Plus, an 11-year-old Florida boy struck by lightning, but he survived. Coming up, we'll talk to the boy and his father about the whole terrifying ordeal. And severe weather. Not going to let its guard down. Severe storms are on the move and headed toward the central plains in the mid-Atlantic. We're timing today's severe weather threat straight ahead. Looking live at the Statue of Liberty because we are live this morning in Brooklyn, New York. The only stop at the World Championship Formula E electric race car series event. This is a worldwide event here and you can see it going on this weekend. We're going to talk about the technology that goes into these electric race cars that eventually work their way into a car that you can buy in your driveway today. That's coming up on Weekend Recharge. And he also going to be racing across the country this week as temperatures drive up to triple digits for some. We're going to see who's going to be sweating it out this weekend with possible record breakers. The relentless heat already leading to the death of 10 children in hot cars so far this year in the U.S. Later on, safety tips parents can use to prevent more hot car deaths. And severe storms. We're going to move and head into the central U.S. and through the mid-Atlantic the time those storms the threat and it's coming up in just a second
Hey, I'm meteorologist Paul Gardner, live in Brooklyn, New York. You've got the Manhattan skyline behind me. We're actually at a race course here, the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. It's the E Grand Prix, the Formula E electric race car. You see the start finish line out here. And this is the only American stop. Race starts today at 1 o'clock, another one going on tomorrow. We're going to talk about the technology they're using on the track and how that eventually goes into making your electric vehicle much more efficient in your garage. That's coming up on Weekend Recharge. And he, that's also going to be racing across the country this week as temperatures drive up to triple digits for some. We'll be sweating it out this weekend with possible record breakers. Plus, an 11-year-old Florida boy struck by lightning, but he survived. Coming up, we'll talk to the boy and his father about the terrifying ordeal. And severe storms are on the move and heading toward the Central Plains and the Mid-Atlantic. We're timing today's threat straight ahead. Well, today on Weekend Recharge, severe storms are powering through the weekend, and we'll show you who's in the red zone and what you can expect to start your work week. And storms aren't the only thing heating up. Relentless summer temperatures are not only sticking around, but they are breaking records. Find out who's going to be sweating it out here and across the pond. And foragers beware. Studies show that a harsh effect of poison ivy, well, it's getting even worse. They're calling it super poison ivy, and we'll show you how to spot it as you get into the out there. Well, today on Weekend Recharge, severe storms are powering through the weekend, and we'll show you who's in the red zone and what you can expect as you start your work week. And storms aren't the only thing heating up. Relentless summer temperatures, not only sticking around, but breaking records, not just for us, but in the UK. Find out who's going to be sweating it out. And summer showers are great for your plants, but also for bugs. <laughs> yeah, I know. Right later in the show, we'll speak with an entomologist about how to protect your garden from these creepy crawlers.
Well, today on Weekend Recharge, severe storms are powering through the weekend. We'll show you who's in the red zone and what you can expect as you start your work week. And storms aren't the only thing heating up. Relentless summer temperatures are not only sticking around, but they are breaking records. Not for us. Not only for us, I should say, but also in the UK. You can find out who is going to be sweating it out this week. Oh, man. And you know what? Summer showers are great for your plants, but unfortunately, also for bugs. Later in the show, we'll speak with an entomologist about how to protect your garden from these creepy crawlers.